Angela. Tony can uh, right here in front of you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, what are your initial thoughts after a performance like that? Um, you know, is it is a tough one. Wasn't it as pretty? You know. Uh, well, I guess as I expected, you know, every time we go out there, you expect to get a finish. But um, we, we knew he was tough, and we knew that um, he was going to re be relentless on the on the uh, the guillotines, and and he had, um, you know, he, he's more of a striker. So, um, you know, I guess I'll have to watch to see exactly, you know, how I feel about my performance. But obviously, I'm I'm happy to come away with the win and and get back on the in the winning column. You mentioned the guillotines. I think even in, in the first round, it looked like he got one. Well, to us, it seems like he had a pretty tight one in that first round. Were you in any danger in any of those submissions he was throwing at you? No, not, not any danger. I mean, it, it was tight. But, um, you know, the main thing in those positions is to keep keep uh, calm breathing, fight the hands. And, uh, you know, the first little bit, he, he got me with a front kick, uh, kind of got me in the eye a little bit. And then he uh, kind of jumped on my, we got in a scramble and he jumped on my neck. So he kind of got a head start on that one, you know. So that was the tightest. But the other ones, um, you know, we, we did a lot of a lot of, um, a lot lot of of defense on uh, switching to a single leg when he did it and getting to the far side. So um, we drilled it, drilled it, drilled it. And uh, I, I did it a, a ton <laughs> in the fight. Now, I don't know if you know this, but your 11 takedowns is second most in a three-round fight at Bantamweight, only behind Marab, who I think had 12 or 13. So uh, you almost, you almost, you almost, if, you almost if, caught him. If only I could have got like two or three more, you know. <laughs> Maybe if I'd had like one more minute, I could have got a couple more. But looking at the rest of this division, it's, it's a lot of people think it's one of the more stacked weight classes in MMA. There's a lot of high-level strikers and wrestlers in this division. So how do you think your style of wrestling stacks up against the rest of this top 15? Um, you know, I, I think I'm the best wrestler in the division. Um, so you mean just my wrestling or in general? It's all around. All, all around. You know, I, I, right now, you know, I'm obviously not top 15, but I, I think I, I am skilled enough to be in top 15. There's so many guys... Um, that can be top 15, but just getting the chance to be circled through in, into that situation, you know. So there's a lot of guys that are right outside, and I feel like I'm right outside of, of the top 15, you know. So, um, you know, I'm looking to keep getting wins, and you know, I'll get my chance to get to get a ranked opponent and and have a number beside my name uh, sometime soon, hopefully this year. But you believe you do have the best wrestling in 135? I, I absolutely believe I have the best wrestling in the bantamweight division. Uh, when do you want to get back in there? Uh, I'm sure you, if you have a name, throw it out there, but when Soon, do you want to get back in there? Um, actually, you know, I'm, I'm not really big on call-outs, but uh, I, I like to fight Chris Gutierrez. He, uh, there was a fight, uh, I think it was after the Contender Series, my Contender Series fight. kind of forgot about it, and uh, he called me out, and, you know, I, and I, I can't let that go unpunished. Tony over here, far right. Congratulations. We spoke about a week and a half ago on MMA Power Hour, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to see you perform well. All you guys just fight so hard and give it uh, your all, and just big respect to you. How did uh, how did Mr. Oliveira feel compared to uh, the what you were expecting and uh, the highlights you saw? He was kind of an X factor, wasn't he, as far as what he would do in the UFC? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's kind of what I expected. You know, he, he was tough. I, I knew he was going to be durable. I've watched his fights. Um, just a durable guy, a tough guy, and he, he's a good cardio too. So, um, But I knew that my cardio had to be better, and I had to just continuously pull him back down. You know, I, I could have done a better job of, of putting more pressure and not letting him back up, but um, every time he would get up, I put him back down, and um, that, that adds, that takes some, takes some uh, energy away, and eventually, you know, you, you get to where you need to be. But um, I, I, knew, I knew he was going to be tough, and that's, that's what we train for. Absolutely. You got caught with a knee fairly early. How uh, how much did that rock you? We actually caught me with a front kick. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was his toes. I remember his toes. It hit me in the eye. His toes, that was like the first little bit of the round. The knees that he did, um, if I can remember correctly, I don't think any of them landed to my face. I jammed a couple, and they kind of hit my chest as I took them down. But the front kick is what, what got my eye in the, in the first, um, if I can remember, you saw the fight. I, yeah, I didn't right, see right. it. I was just in there, you know, so it, you could be right. You could be right. But um, as far as I remember, I remember the toes hitting my eye and the scramble and then him getting, uh, you know, trying to go for the guillotine in the first 30 seconds or so maybe. Gotcha. Also, respect to your jujitsu. It looks like you really weren't worried coming in and getting caught in that guillotine. Looks like you never panicked. It looks like that's something you've worked before, am I right? Yeah, we, uh, you know, I train with the best, the best fighters in the world, American top team, and, and Coach Pahumpa, we, we've been drilling um, 
that defense, you know, ever since ever since the fight, you know, how how to correctly defend it. Obviously, I'm, you know, when I shoot for takedowns, I'm when when you shoot for takedowns, you kind of put yourself in that situation. So, just doing the correct takedown switching from um, only shooting single legs and you know, um, going cross body when you finish. So um, I did that. Um, the first the first um, I think the first guillotine was the one where I wasn't able to quite do that and then everyone after that it was it was more of the correct way to, to do it you know absolutely last one for me what would you give yourself as far as a grade a to f i, I don't know like i said I, I haven't seen it you know but you know as far as i feel you know i i want to finish you know i wanted to finish um because of that i, I don't know I, i'm kind of a tough critic on myself i'd say like a i won so that's that helps maybe like a b minus maybe I think so. Maybe even better. You look great. Congratulations. Thank you, sir.